Hey guys, G here. Welcome back to Luna Geckos. Boy, do we have a treat for you today. So me and Miss Poppy Dog, we're doing our regular egg checks in our incubators here. And guess what? There's an egg that's about to hatch. And we're going to watch it hatch together. So listen to the intro while I set it up in the light box and record it. And when we get back, we're going to watch it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, we got it all set up. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. Let me get my glasses on because I can't see the egg from here. So here's what we have today. Now, I've recorded dozens of geckos hatching, but it's always been after the head was already out or the nose was popped out. The egg was breached somehow. This is the first time, and it's a YouTube exclusive right here on Luna Gecko's channel. It's the very first time we're actually gonna capture one from breach all the way to hatch. And here's what we noticed about this egg. We noticed that it was pipping What's that mean? Well, pipping is oftentimes on one end of the egg or the other, you'll see a bump. And what that is, is the gecko is starting to maybe work its way out. It's not always the case, but it's a pretty good indication that that's about, that hatching is about to happen. Now, the other thing we noticed, the egg was starting to sweat. Does that always mean it's gonna hatch? Well, no, but again, it's a pretty good indication. We had pipping and we had sweating on the same egg. Seemed like it was gonna hatch. But I gotta tell you, through the magic of editing, I've already watched this. And it's an hour and 45 minutes. Don't worry, we're not gonna watch for an hour and 45 minutes. What we did is parts of the hatch where the gecko is not really doing anything we speed it up but what we don't do is cut anything out from start to finish for the entire hour and 45 minutes it's not going to take an hour and 45 minutes it's going to go quick ish so i can't be edited if i make a mistake this is kind of like a luna live Except it's not live. We're going to have to roll with it. And we're going to watch it together. I'll be quiet sometimes. Sometimes I won't. You know me. I can't be quiet all the time. going to have to talk. Now this video is not about incubation. We have an entire video on how to incubate gecko eggs Luna style. You can watch it. Oh, oh, we've got a breach. The gecko's head is out. How about that sneaky little devil? Look at this. Now she's teasing us because she stays in this position. A little bit of movement here and there for a long time. So we do speed it up. We want to make sure that we're not just sitting here watching her do nothing. Now this is a temperature sex female and we call this a Mandarin Emmerine. It's really our Mandarin Emmerine project and what it is is a couple seasons ago we took a pure het free blood and marine and crossed it with a mandarin tangerine to start creating more orange tangerine and green amarines so far so good this season's a little bit 
a little bit off because we were supposed to take our holdback female Mandarin and Marines from the 2020 season and pair them back with Cinco. But Mr. Cinco has a prolapse. Well, he doesn't have a prolapse anymore, but he did have a prolapse and it, uh, it derailed a lot of the projects we had him lined up for this season. He was actually breeding with five females and Crush, our Mandarin Tangerine boy, ended up having to pick up the slack. Let's watch for a few minutes. Just sitting there breathing, resting. Now, a lot of people would want to assist right now and think that maybe the gecko is stuck and resist. Don't do it. Now, we don't know exactly what's going on in that egg, but more than likely, she's absorbing her yolk sac and she doesn't want to fully come out until that yolk sac is absorbed. And that's their first meal until they shed. So it's pretty important to leave them alone and hopefully they absorb that entire yolk sac. Every once in a while, you'll get a gecko that comes out and still has a yolk sac attached to their belly. Don't worry about it. Within a day, it usually dries up and just falls off. Is the anticipation killing you? Do you want to see what it looks like? So do I. Come on, baby. You can do it. this was actually live, we could have taken bets on how long it was going to take, but can't do that now because you can just fast forward and you'll see. That'd be cheating. You have to watch the whole video with me. Thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate you spending time watching this beautiful creature hatch. Now this, like I said, is a temperature sex female. We incubate for females at 81 degrees Fahrenheit and males at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. In our hot box incubators from Sea Serpents, we love these incubators. A 
This season, leopard gecko females have been taking between 55 and 60 days on average to hatch at 81 degrees. And the males at 90 degrees have been averaging between 35 and 40 days. We incubate our fat tails in the exact same incubators. And they take on average about 20 days more than leopard geckos. So you end up being around 75 days for females and around 55 days for temperature sex male African fat tails. We're just waiting for her to get that arm out. She's got to get a shoulder and an arm out. And then we'll make some progress here. You just never know how long it's going to take. We had, we had one the other day that I peeked in the incubator and I saw just the nose out and I wanted to record it, but my tripod that I put in the light box was upstairs. So I had to run upstairs and get it and run back down, set up my phone. Well, it probably took two, three minutes. And by the time I got back downstairs, the gecko was 100% out of the egg and just standing there looking at me like, hey, what's going on? So I missed it. Oh, look at the licking. So the one the other day took less than three minutes from nose out the entire body out. This one took an hour and 45 minutes. Now, if you miss the beginning, it's not going to be an hour and 45 minutes. You can see there are certain parts that we speed up where she's not doing a whole lot. but we didn't cut anything out of this. The only editing is a little acceleration from time to time to compress that hour and 45 minutes into something more consumable. Don't you want to just see her face? Look up. Funny story, this is the time of year where the incubators are starting to get pretty full and eggs are starting to hatch on a pretty regular basis. By the time we roll into mid-June all the way through mid-July, they'll be hatching like crazy. We'll have multiple hatches every day. But we did have five eggs scheduled to hatch according to our average incubation times when this egg caught my attention and I spent an hour and 45 minutes recording this and sure enough after all of that effort three others hatched each one of them took less than 10 minutes but I didn't record them
Alright, she's getting ready, I think. Building up a little momentum. Hatching has to be hard. Oh yeah, getting the Michael Jordan tongue ready. Add a girl. Would you look at that face? Shoulder out. You can do it, sweetie. You have to get a leg out. If you hear snoring, Miss Poppy Dog is here today. She's on the floor, taking a nap. She's my egg check assistant, and we were checking the incubators, and we noticed this egg, and it looked ready to hatch, and sure enough, it was. Looks like she's getting ready to try and get that first leg out. Come on. Come on, here comes that leg. Put your right foot in, put your right foot out. No? Okay. Here it comes. Oh, it's so close. Oh, we've got a leg out. Oh, two legs out. I see the left leg sneaking out over there. Now all the black on this gecko will turn tangerine dark orange in a couple months and after every shed it'll change a little bit more a little bit more and those yellow spots will likely turn green and this gecko will be a combination of tangerine and emerine
There's a back leg. How about the tail? Don't forget the tail. We can't stop watching now. We gotta see it all the way out. We're so close. There's just a little bit of the tail in there. Here it goes, big move, big move. Oh, she's blocking it with her head. I can't see. Oh, I think that's, I think that's the tip of the tail. Are you all the way out? Yes. All the way out. Well, there you go. We have a hatch. Wow. How about that? You know, I've probably seen dozens, maybe even a hundred hatches. I've recorded 30, 40, maybe even 50 of them, but never like that. I've never recorded one from breech all the way to hatch. Usually there's already a nose out or the head's out and then I can hurry up and throw on the camera, but I've never gotten the entire process. And you got to watch it too, right here today. Wow, never gets old. I don't care if it's the first hatch you've ever seen or the hundredth hatch you've ever seen, it's exciting. If you like this video, please like it, please share it with your friends, comment down below, and above all, hit that subscribe button and ring that notify bell so you don't miss content like this. But you'll never miss Sunday, because you know, every Sunday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here, new episode. Don't forget, you can get our merch, lunageckos.shop, and our live animals are now starting to be listed because of hatches like today. lunageckos.com for live animals. So until next time, I'm G, we're Luna Geckos, that's Miss Poppy Dog, see ya! It sound right, boy.